Hello everyone, and welcome to the YAG PDB role menu tutorial. To get started, make sure you have a server that has YAG PDB in it. If you don't, obviously this will not work. To invite YAG PDB, you can open your browser and go to yagpdb.xyz. Click control panel in the top right, log in if you haven't already, select a server, and select your server from the list. Next, we're going to want to make sure that our roles are correctly set up in Discord so that we can create a role menu. For this example, we're going to have three roles, blue, purple, and green, that we want to choose from a role menu. Now, if we go back to the control panel, we want to click Tools and Utilities, Role Commands. This will allow us to set up a role menu. We'll create a group called Colors. Now, this is what you're going to use to assign the role menu and as you can see I've clicked the mode to single which means you can only have one role at any given time and I've also clicked remove existing role when assigning another in the group which basically means that if I have the role blue and I click purple it will remove blue and give me purple instead of just giving me an error so this is what I want in this example let's click create new group and we'll add each color to the group blue, purple, and green. Now that we're back in Discord, we can type role menu create colors. Now I put colors here because that's what the group is called in the YAG PDB control panel. So make sure these two are the same. And we're going to add on to that minus sign no DM and minus sign RR. What no DM does is it makes sure that the bot does not DM your users every time they react to a message. Normally, it will DM them whenever they react to the message and get a role saying, gave you the role. This can be quite frustrating and a bit spammy, so I always advise that you turn it off. Next, RR means that if you unreact to the message, you will get the role removed which means that you don't have to click to react and you get the role, then unreact, then react again to remove the role. Instead, you click to react, you receive the role, and then if you click and unreact, it will simply remove the role. This is always advised. Next, send the message and complete the setup guide. React with the emoji for the role command green. Let's get a green heart, a purple heart, and a blue heart. Next, as you can see, no DM is true and R is true. This is good. Now we can delete this message and we can delete this message. Next, react to it and you will see now I have the role green. If I unreact, I'm no longer green. Now, let's test that single flag that we set a long time ago here where it says that we will remove the existing role when assigning another role in group. If I react to blue, now I'm blue. But let's say I want purple, so I click purple, and now I'm purple, but I no longer have blue. So everything is working correctly. This is the end of the basic setup for React PDB role menus. If you're an advanced user, you can continue watching. If you need help, at the end of the video, there will be links to the support server and a few frequently asked questions that may help you out. The invite link to the support server will also be in the description down below, as well as all of the commands and all of the links and websites that you will need. Now, for advanced users, keep watching to see how you can react to your own custom message to give yourself a role instead of this default YAGPDB one. Now, we have the bot message, but what if we want a custom message sent from us? Frankly, this just looks a little odd sometimes, and especially if you have a large stack of them in a channel, it can get confusing. So, for our own custom message, let's type react to this for the color you want. Next, send the message, and make sure you have developer settings on. To do this, click user settings, appearance, scroll down, click developer mode to on. Now that developer mode is on, you're going to want to hover over the message, 
click copy ID. Now we're going to go through the same process we did before, just with a small difference. Roll menu, create, colors, now dash M, which means message, and then paste the message ID that you copied right before this. This means that you're telling the bot that you want to use this message for reacting instead of its own custom message. I will do the same thing with RR and no DM. Now send this message and react to the emojis again. Purple and blue. Now that the setup is complete, you can remove this message and this message. And as you can see, we have our own custom message that also works as a role menu. As you can see, now I'm green, now I'm blue. You can even use this purple and it will work as well. That's how you set up a YAG PDB role menu. If you need support, the support server is in the description down below and there's also a link on screen now. Please don't hesitate to ask if you have questions, but make sure you read the FAQ first and make sure that you've double checked your permissions, your prefix, and your settings to make sure that everything is working correctly.